Hi, here's a quick video walkthrough on automated user onboarding with smart templates and CSV files. When it comes to organizations, provisioning accounts for new employees and modifying details pertaining to the existing users is a routine that happens day in day out. Using native tools or PowerShell scripts to get the same done can often be tiresome, complex and error prone. Let's see how with AD Manager Plus's unique user creation template you can get the same done in a flick. Clicking on AD Management. We've got templates for user creation and modification. User management and clicking on user creation templates. In this case for user creation, you can use these templates right here that come pre-packaged with the application. Let's go ahead and create a new template. The best advantage is you can delegate these templates to HR and help these technicians, facilitating quick user provisioning. Let's call this user creation template, help these technicians. From the layout here, it's pretty evident that user provisioning in AD Manager Plus is 360 degree and it's supporting Google Apps and Office 365 as well. We've got all the important user attributes segregated under respective tabs. Toggling between the tabs to take a quick look. We can see Exchange and Skype for Business is supported as well. You can get Office 365 and Google Apps pre-configured. We also have the provision to run custom scripts. And when it comes to delegating this template to a technician, it's best practice to keep it simple. And how do we do that? By enabling the drag and drop and editing the layout. You can choose to remove the unrequired tabs by clicking on the X mark. In this case, let's remove everything but for general account and contact. Quickly removing all the unnecessary tabs. Also do note that you can always bring back a tab from the field tray right here. At times you'd want to remove certain attributes, say something like the web page attribute. Clicking on delete and hitting OK. The provision like creating your own naming format and configuring the logon name to prevent duplicates come as added advantage. And regarding attributes like employee ID, you can edit them and make them mandatory or read only as in the case of description attribute. Moving on to the accounts tab, it holds details such as the password and the group membership. You can pre-configure the password and set it as random. You can also make it silently active. In that way, the technician needn't worry to fill this out because he never really gets to see it in the first place. In case you wish to copy an existing user attribute, all you gotta do is click on this button. Let's go ahead and save this template. You can choose to create copies of the template or even make it the default. Now let's log in as a help desk technician. We're able to see that the UI has drastically changed and has become simplistic just like the way we configured it. Under AD Management, click on Create Users. The consecutive window lets you import a CSV file. You can use the sample CSV for reference or click here for an exhaustive list of LDAP attributes and their mappings. So the CSV file we created has the first name, the last name and the employee ID LDAP headers in place. Click on import and choose file and select the new user's creation template and hit OK. So yes, the user's data is populated and their corresponding attributes are imported as well. Click on next and specify the required OU in tree view and click create. So there you go, we've successfully created new users, that's user creation templates in AD Manager Plus for you.